Hello everyone. I thought I would make a video where I talk about editing, which I'm uh, doing right now on my book, The Ecstasy and Ignimity. I'm still typing it into the computer. Um, I'm on chapter uh, 28 of uh, 43. Hopefully I'll be able to get it all down in the next uh, couple of weeks. And uh, well, the thing is, is that I've noticed that I, I have been changing, uh, you know, things like repetition, uh, words that I use too much, or and, and things of that nature. And if I if I find a passage where I instantly know how to make it better, then I'll make it better. However, I do think that writers, when editing, can get into a habit of changing too much, because I actually do have the belief that your final draft should resemble at least somewhat your um, original draft, all, albeit more polished. Because my belief is is that your writing uh, should the, a book should reflect at least somewhat um, the, the raw sensibility that the writer was feeling um, at the time that they were writing it. So there are some passages, that, passages, for example, that I come across and I go, I'm not sure, um, I, I'm not sure if I like this, because then I'll change a passage and then I'll be like, no, oh, no, the original way was better, and I'll go back and forth. But I think in many cases, not in every case, I do think it's better to go with the original because sometimes when a writer tries to edit and tweak so uh, too much, the soul of the of the original passage is lost and everything is too uh, polished and soulless. So uh, I do think that writers can edit too much. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't edit at all. You should, uh, you should obviously edit for things like uh, uh, coherency and... Um, and dramatic poignancy, but but what I'm saying is that you shouldn't edit to the point that your original draft becomes uh, completely unrecognizable, because then it will likely be very soulless. So uh, that is my thought on the matter.